All right, guys, I'm about to do a 50-pack break of early 2000s, mainly 2000-2001 basketball packs. They are retail, but they are extremely hard to find now. And I paid 100 bucks for 153 of them. I'm not even going to tell you, but I've done sold quite a bit of them, and I've done made about 300 350 on them already. So the ones up in the front right here are the ones I'm going to open. I shouldn't, but I'm going to do it out of... I don't know, like a tribute to Kobe Bryant. Unfortunately, we just lost him not that long ago, a couple of weeks ago. And I've been meaning to do this, but I've been really, really busy. And the packs have been selling like crazy, honestly, for good money. In packs, we're hoping to pull some Kobe Bryant's. Some Michael Jordan autographs could be in these right here. Now, they are bricked, but I have opened some, and they are fine. I've got nothing but good reviews. A jersey card did come out of one of these i think and some numbered cards came out of these that i heard from my customers um so without further ado let's start with an upper deck pack night or 2000 2001 oh, kobe autos kobe jersey cards kobe numbered cards michael jordan stuff out of all these packs here there's only one right off the bat i see something potentially masters of them that's an insert probably I thought it was a jersey card. And these early jersey cards hold more value than the more modern ones. Okay, so let's go through these. We're looking for any Kobe's because they're moving like crazy right now, unfortunately. But there's one right off the bat. Speaking of, number eight, Kobe Bryant right off the bat. I think it's the same one. Yeah, oh no. I thought it was the same one as the... Oh, it's on the pack. Anyways, that's a good one right there. There's another one, and there's another one. Oh my God, right off the bat, there's t three Kobe's in one pack. Awesome. They're not numbered or anything, but these are from a subset, so technically they're an insert. So you got three of those. Damn, that one looked like it was a different color, because I know they had some serial numbered ones, I'm sure, of those. And at the end here, we have a Paul Pierce insert card, looks like. Trying to make it out, I can't, but it's probably irrelevant. A buck or so. Okay, I'm going to stick with the upper deck theme. And if you're not into this, if you've made it this far, which you probably didn't if you're not into cards, hey, this is just something you can be doing. Or if you used to play with baseball cards or mess around with baseball cards, hey, you can see what they became in the early 2000s and what they basically still are now. There's really nothing different in modern products except the players than what they do or did then. The game used jerseys really took over and the autograph cards inserted in packs. Okay, this pack was an absolute dud. There are some base cards that are serial number two, but I'm sure they would look different. I might have to go through them again later. There's an insert card of, it looks like Wesley Purse, or um, Sean Marion. Nothing big. All right, let's do with the Hoops 2000-2001. These are retail, like I had mentioned before, so the odds are a little more against you, but they do have autographics and things like that in them too, just like the rest. But unfortunately, like the Hoops here are three-card packs. Really lame. Um, let's go with these Hoops. Those were Hoops Hot Prospects. These are Hoops Skybox, the 89 Retro Edition. Lots of serial numbered inserts in these. They look like the 89 Hoops which I love. I might have to open more of these. I might put back them hoops here. These are lots right now I have on, basically, for sale. Everything else is... Oh, that was lame. All right, let's jump into some Fleer Game Time, another pack that only has three cards in it, or four cards in it. They off... I don't know. My initial thing thinking was that they were all searched but since I've heard jersey cards have come out and serial numbered cards I don't think they've been resealed or searched and there was a bomb but it's a what a beautiful base card this is always has been it's a 20 year product now almost all right let's jump across the board here and let's do some Fleer Mystique 2000-2001 unfortunately once again we only have a few cards in this pack Easier for them to be felt up, I guess. Only three cards. That's kind of sucky. All right, so we haven't duplicated what we did in the first pack. So let's go on back to upper deck. Let's make sure it's not bricked. And we have a Vince Carter on the back. 
I think it's just an insert card, but I think there's an insert card in every pack. The upper deck are the real good value here out of these. There's another Kobe, same card. Base card. Too bad it ain't a serial numbered one. Oh, look, the sequencing. That's weird. And then it's a Derek Fisher. I thought that was another Kobe. So, look, there's another Kobe. That's pretty cool. Um, Make sure that's... Yeah, Derek Fisher. There we go. And we have an insert card, which is very plentiful, of Kevin Garnett. And then we got a... Really nice Vince Carter, but it's no more than three bucks on the real market. All right, um, we'll give Hoops another chance. I'm getting ready to like change up my 50 pack thinking here. I might pull from some of those other ones. I really do not like these. I think the odds are really against you on those. See, look at that bomb. Let's go back to the Hoops. I like the card packs with more in them. There's more chance that they could be hidden to insert cards instead of somebody searching three card packs. All right, Eddie Jones, we're going upside down. Corey Maggette, Rasheed Wallace. Here's a parallel version of Jock Jones, but there's no serial number, and it's called Hoopla. We'll put it in the inserts, but... No. Hey, there's a Kobe right there. That's pretty nice. Retro. Nothing but base cards. So... Right off the bat, we have some more base cards and some more ba We got something. Got a numbered rookie card of Kenyon Martin. Hey, well, at least it's something, right? We'll check these out. Tracy McGrady again. And then you got a Kenyon Martin next in line. Really cool card. He was a decent player. He just far from a Hall of Famer. Numbered to 2,500. And I think it's an insert. It's not part of the regular set. Still kind of cool. Put that to the side. At least there's something. Let's go back with some more hoops. And we got Tim Hardaway, Avery Johnson, and Derek Coleman. Let's do some more Fleer game time. Since we're running out of the other packs. And I'm really not digging this game time. Either. Oop, whoops, sorry. Oh. All right. Sean Kemp with Cleveland. There's a David Robinson. Stefan Marbury. John Stockton. All great players. But they're just base cards. So we'll try game time one more time. I like the upper deck so much. I don't know. From that year. There's more added value. Alan Houston, there's an insert card of Antoine Jameson. It is not numbered, so it's kind of lame. And let's do another up the deck. All right, David Robinson, right off the top. Some upside down, we got some random players i'm not seeing any inserts or parallels and here's a Kenyon martin again which is funny you don't really even deserve to be put to the side and another antoine jameson that's weird really strange but nothing great let's do some more ud 2000 2001 and even these packs people i won't be throwing these away i don't think even though i just ripped this one i wasn't thinking they do have kobe on them and I'm thinking these older packs anyway, man. If we would have saved them back in the day. And then right off the bat, it's the same pack, probably. It has David Robinson on the top again. Same player next. But then on the upside, on the bottom side, it's a different sequence. All right. Those are stuck. Come on, auto. Be like a high end. Imagine if I pull a Jordan Howe for the card market anyway, how viral this video would go. Grant Hill, when he first started with the Magic, and they were trying to get Tim Duncan. And we got a Ray Allen insert card. Nothing too special. Um, I like the hoops. We're going to go with some more hoops. And we got Charles Barkley, who appeared in the first Hoops 89 set. Uh-oh, we got an insert. It's Allen Iverson, up-tempo. And it looks like it's the... The refractor type version, which could be serial numbered. 
as I have a cat fight in the other. Ah, it's not. Damn. I could have sworn I think they have these serial numbered too. I'm not mistaken, Jordan's in this set. Uh, that's a really pretty card. Maybe it's worth a little something. We'll put it to the side here. And we'll round it out. Michael, or, yeah, Michael Finley and Reggie Miller, Eldon Campbell. And we're going to go back with some game time. You just don't know, man. Because I've pulled some really good stuff out of retail in the years I've been doing this. And nobody. Let's do one more game time. I'm getting a little antsy. I'm in an awkward spot how I'm opening these. Sorry, guys. All right. Uh-oh, we got something in there. It's another insert card. This time it's Grant Hill. And it is not serial numbered, unfortunately. So we got quite a bit of inserts, but I'm actually losing money so far by opening these. But hopefully y'all get some thrill out of this, especially if you haven't seen these packs open before or you haven't opened any in a long time. Because really, you can't find these boxes. I know they're out there, but they don't always just pop up. Not everybody's posting everything online. So, we have a bricked pack here, but they're not... The cards don't seem damaged. Good, good, good. Looks like some of the same players again. Another Kenyon Martin. Ugh. And, an, well, at least the Kobe's keep... No, that's the Derek Fisher, I think. Yeah, that's the Derek Fisher. So, Derek Fisher was in a Kobe pack earlier, not this time. A whole lot of nothing and a Kevin Garnett insert card. Waiting for the big score. Let's try some more. Fleer game time. Oops, I'll rip this one all up. Okay, so there's something here in the middle. There's a Vince Carter card in the middle. It's an autographic, so wouldn't that be cool? Okay, so the big reveal. Oh, it's a Vince Carter Re Revolution. The Carter Administration. That's kind of funny. That's a, a little bit rare insert. Not sure what they're going for, but we'll put it to the side. And let's round out the hoops, get them out of the way. I do like this product, unless I decide to open another one over there. All right, Dan Marley. You got David Robinson, who's... Oh, we got a hologram coming up. Or holographic type card. That's cool. I'm happy. Vince Carter again. And a Sean Elliott of all players from San Antonio. That's a really cool refractor looking card. It is called the Hoopla Plus. So I pulled the Hoopla already, but not a plus. That's a really cool card. Unfortunately, there's no serial numbering. And if that was Michael Jordan or somebody really good, that would have been a great card, even though I love Sean Elliott. All right, I'm getting a little more hyped on these. Let's try some Mystique. Let's see if there's any Mystique left in these vintage, almost 20-year-old packs. And we got something. We got something. What is it a redemption? It's pretty sparkly. That's interesting. I have no... Oh, it's a peeler. Oh, okay. You peel it off and reveal it. Oh, we'll wait to the end if that's the case. Definitely keep that to the side. And let's do some more UD. See what happens here. Try to keep these Kobe Tucks a little nicer. And we got another Garnet insert card on the back, unfortunately. Um, so, we've seen this pack before too, so we're having really bad sequencing. At least some of the pack is the same. And it leads us to another of the same Kevin Garnet insert cards. Not happy with those up the deck. Let's try to do some different stuff. Come on. For the mystery card. Gives us an, a reason to wait to the end. Besides opening the packs, obviously. And we got another Kobe. So we've been Kobe rich with this same card and up three times already. And another, we've been maybe more Kenyon Martin rich here. And an insert of looks like Terrell Brandon. Nope, Andre Miller. Junk. And we'll go back to some Hoops Hot Prospects, because now I'm amped up. Even the three-card packs could lead to some goodies. And we have a Vince Carter. Ola. Ola. Ola Carter, excuse me. 
So we have a Sam Cassell, a la Carter, not serial numbered or anything, but getting some cool inserts. And anybody wants anything, as soon as I air this, get at me right away because I'll probably make a lot or something of this stuff to get some of my money back because that's what I do. So get at me in the comments if you're interested in anything. We're going to do some more game time. Game time. I am on Mercari. Other than that, if you want to buy from me and follow me and stuff like that, I would be grateful because I post every single day on there. I have over 3,500 items for sale. A lot of Witcher sports card related. Back to another game time. Trying to get the game time happening. These packs are just falling apart because they're so brittle and old. Uh-oh. Nope. Just upside down. Larry Johnson, Jamie Fink, Tony Kukoc, and Byron Russell. All right, back to the UDs. The game time has been really underwhelming. I don't like how these packs are tearing. Damn. We have the MJ sighting, I think. Nope. Oh, it's Lamar Odom. Well, there's a big difference. So I haven't seen any MJs in this set yet. I think he was retired still. I don't think he went. There's another. Oh, there's a Tim Duncan now. Um, still, it's just the base card. Not really anything. If it was a serial numbered version, it would be tight. Okay. And we have a rookie card of nobody. And a Lamar Odom insert on the back. Not happy with that Lamar Odom, guys. We need to get some good stuff. The mystery card might not be anything. So we need to really step up our game here with the mojo. Anyways, it looks like a nut. This dude has been pulled a lot. Another Kevin Garnett. Nothing special. Grant Hill. Jason Williams. Black Chocolate. All right, we're going to do the Hoops Hot Prospects. We got two left. We're about to have one. Hey, I'll get a Darius Miles rookie. I remember pulling one out of this product. All right, so that's lame. Um, back to Fleer game time. Like I said, it's, I'm very underwhelmed, but I'm optimistic. There's something there. Patrick Ewing, Gugliata, Jamie, or there's another one of those, Larry Hughes, and it's numbered to 2,500, and it is somebody Porter, nobody important. Number to 2,500, that was a big thing back then. Another game time. Let's get the game going. And if this video, say for instance, does really well, whatever packs I have left, I'll open them. Here's a gold card. But did they? Oh, it's a Kobe gold. Very interesting. Nice, nice, nice. So that's a gold parallel. Then you get a Vince Carter. I think it's a gold parallel. Unless they all were like that. Really nice card. So we'll put that to the Kobe st stack. And we'll go back to the UV. That one had a little. Stickage. We have a nugget on the back of our insert card. Hopefully there's something better in the middle. And I'm not seeing it. The gloss is a little awkward after 20 years. And nobody. Alright, so let's knock out the hoops pot prospects. Getting down to the end here. And we have an insert card of Grantis Hill. It is a traded to Magic Hoops original. It is not serial numbered or anything. Not sure of how hard these are to pull. I'm trying to see if there's anything else on it. So Hoops originals they call those. We'll put that to the side. And let's do some game time. Great looking pack, great looking card, really terrible look, no inserts or anything. So this one seems to have more cards in it. There's another insert of Tracy McGrady, but it's another common one. And a Kevin Garnett. Alright, let's hit up the game time again. Let's get back to that mystique after this one. Sorry. 
And we have Patrick Ewing when he was traded to the Sonics but hadn't played a game yet. A Gary Payton, a very young Dirk Nowitzki, and we have a gold Robert Ory. Unfortunately, it is not gold. It's just the way the Lakers looked. So that answered my question there. Let's get back to the Mystique. There's only two left. Now we're down to one. All right, Mystique it. There's another Kobe. Lots of Kobe's coming out, but they're all just the base cards. And we'll go back to UDs. And we have a Yao Ming on the back, it looked like. I can't hope, but see just a glimpse. There's another TD. Unfortunately, these are just all base cards. Another Garnett. Oh, no, it's a Matt Bullard rookie card, I guess that is. Oh, no, Jason Collier. Still, who cares? Really no good solid rookies in this class that stood the test of time anyway. At the time, we had great rookies in these years. Um, Antonio Daniels with the Spurs. We have another Jerry Stackhouse. Now that's a goal. It's called an extra, but they aren't serial numbered or anything. Nothing really too special. Good looking card. And we'll go back to some UDs one more time. Try to be careful. And we have a little stickage. Gonna have to pluck them. Stack's about to fall over. So I got a lot of base cards. Anybody want to start some sets? <laughs> and hopefully y'all can see all this. I haven't even been looking through the lens. Another one of these Garnets. Shouldn't be more Kobe's. The very first pack had three Kobe's in it. And then two of them those. Alright. So we're down to the end. Let's kill off the mystique. No pun intended there. Um, we're finishing it up. There could be something big hanging out in one of those, but I can't be opening all those. They're selling too well. Um, so I ripped that pack. Oh, we have another mystery card, which says that they're not that rare. To pull two. That's unfortunate. I was all excited. But we got two to, two to show you. When the time is right. Alright, going back to Upper Deck. nothing so MJ is not in this so it makes me wonder if there's autographs because he's always been with upper deck here's a not a Kobe at number three and another insert nobody cares about back to upper deck I would think there's still some autograph and jersey cards of Jordan potentially in these I could be wrong there's another Kobe right there unfortunately it's not a numbered one I'm about to lose all the cards here. Tracy McGrady when he started with the Magic. And there he is. The man, the myth, the legend. Not him. Quentin Richardson. Had a better career than Darius Miles. So that's his rookie card. I'm going to the Fleer game time. I could give up some of these game time and bring out a couple more upper decks or something. Say so this was a dud. Another Dirk. Go back to the upper deck. There's a Evolve card of Reggie Miller, more than likely, on the back. Evolve cards, you could put in a pin number and they could turn into a game use card or an autograph card or both. By, I guess, the way their player played. Another Kobe coming up. You got a Pippin with the Blazers. And then there's the e-card of Reggie Miller. So two inserts there. Um, I have three of the game time. Man, I don't, I don't know. Uh, should I trade up? I'm liking the hoops. And the Mystique, I guess I don't really like. No, I'm really, I just love these because I think the odds are better on those. But let me go one more. Let's see. You got to talk to me game time. If you don't produce anything, I'm trading in the next two. And we have a Rashad, Rashid Wallace, Tom Gugliotto, Paul Pierce, and nothing. I am trading in my two game time packs for an upper deck and a 
hoops and I'll deal with the consequences. I'll have to essentially change lots around or whatever, but you know, you never know what happens here. The upper deck have actually been duds too, but I know they have a lot of potential. Um, yeah, there's the same card again. Nice. What are the odds of that? Oh, no, it's Keon Dueling. Either way, not good. All right, back to the UDs. We got two packs left after this one. There is nothing happening so far here. Uh, another Kobe. And another insert that don't matter. Going to the hoops. We'll end everything with the upper deck. And I will stop before I get crazy. And nothing. Byron Russell. We know what he's famous for. And last pack of upper deck. Will it be a Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant autograph? There is a possibly a Kobe Bryant insert evolve on the back, which I've pulled before. All right, this pack is looking kind of lame. There's another Tim Duncan. That's the third one. Sorry, the pack cards just fell over. Another Garnett, another Kenyon Martin. There is a Elton Brand and a Kobe Bryant to end it all. Insert card, E card. Not much. Well, now they're probably selling for 10 to 15. I actually sold one for 18 and 20. But, you know. All right, guys. So that's it. Let me show you what some of these inserts are worth. Oh, yeah, we got to unveil these these mystery cards here. So let's see what we got going here. This is the second one we pulled. See if we can find it where it's coming off. There it goes. And we get the back of the card. It's a Tracy McGrady. It's numbered 101. No, unfortunately, it's not numbered. But that's it's a refractor, potentially. Oh no, I know what these are. Oh, middlemen. So they kept it fresh in that little seal there. I'm not sure what they're going for, but I don't think it's too much. But not a bad player. And we got one more. It's probably going to be another middleman. This was their creative way to. Do the metal men's, I guess, or a random insert card with the Dikembe Matumbo. It is a different insert card. It is another one of the refractor type cards, and it is not worth anything because I've seen these plenty of times. Unfortunately, it's nothing special. I don't know why they decided to do that, but it was kind of cool for the video. All right, so let's see what some of the stuff is. You got, here's all the Kobe's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve Kobe's pulled. That's interesting. Um, there's the inserts that are nothing special. They all could be bought for one money. And then here's some of the inserts I'm about to look up that I don't think there's any need to. 